So we just learned a few new topics. And I'm sure it's a little bit confusing and we're still trying to figure out what frame and bounds and size and all these different CG points and trying to remember what we did in the pirate assignment with CG points. So let's go over and practice this in code so we can make sure that we have an understanding of what we're doing. And this is gonna be a little typing intensive. So I would really recommend using copy and paste and um, e opening up this project from the GitHub repo if you wanna just kinda copy and paste some code in and see how this works. But for now, I'm just gonna go through the whole process so we can really become comfortable accessing the size, the origin, and the center for a given object and kind of seeing how these different CG points are used to dictate the size of our view objects. So I've done this, I've gone back to our view in the, into the world project and I'm in my storyboard file and I'm gonna go ahead and hold down the alt key and press on ccviewcontroller.h. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna hook up all of our view objects here. So let's go ahead and hook up our button and let's simply call this um, button one. And notice that we're gonna make this an outlet because we wanna get the properties or the attributes of our button. We don't wanna use an action here because we don't want some action to occur when we press our button. We don't care about that right now. All we care about is the frames and the size and all that good stuff. So go ahead and press connect. And let's go ahead and hook up our view and I'm gonna call this view one and this is an outlet, and we're gonna make this type UI view and strong. You can press connect. And let's hook up button two as well. So now that we have all these UI view objects hooked up properly, I'm gonna go ahead and go back to a single view, and we're gonna go into our CC view controller, and we're gonna NS log all the information we just learned about. So what was the first item we learned about? We're gonna say NS log, and I'm gonna give this an indicator so it's really obvious what we're talking about. And we're gonna say bounds size. And we're gonna do something like this. We're gonna say percent F, percent F. And we're gonna use quote here. And we can say self.button1.bounds.size dot height. And we're gonna say self.button1 dot bounds dot size dot width and next we can go ahead and we're gonna NS log the frame so I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this down here and we're gonna change this to frame and instead of bounds we're gonna use frame uh, you know what actually in the interest of making this nice and clear for anyone following along we're gonna go ahead and just type this out again so we're gonna say frame dot height or dot size dot height, and we can say self dot button one dot frame dot size dot width. And let's go ahead and we're gonna print out the bounds origins next. So let's go ahead and copy this down. And we're gonna say bounds origin. And we can say, let's remove this again. We're gonna say self dot button one dot bounds dot origin dot x and we can say self dot button one dot bounds dot origin dot y and now let's go ahead and we're going to print out the frame origin so we're going to change this to frame origin and I go ahead and remove all my arguments again so we're going to say self dot button one dot frame dot origin dot x and we can say self dot button one dot frame dot origin dot y and we're also going to have to NS log the center so let's go ahead and do this and copy this down we can simply say center And let's go ahead and print out, we can go ahead and remove all this. So we're gonna say, that's uh, some of my curly braces here. So we're gonna say self.button1.center.x and self.button1.center.y. So let's go ahead and run our application. And we'll be able to say that my button one's bound size is 3046. And so is the frame. Now you might say, why are these the same thing? Well, right now I haven't tilted my button uh, to be on its side or I haven't rotated it by like 30 or 60 degrees. 
If I did that, I would notice that my balance size and frame size were in fact different, but we're not going to get to that yet. It's nothing we have to worry about. Right now, for our purposes, we can think about these two as the same thing. But notice, know that they could be hypothetically different in the future if we did in fact rotate our objects. Um, we also see that our balance origin is 0, 0. Um, specifically in our coordinate system, 0, 0, we're starting here because this is our super view, this gray area. And we see that our frame's origin is 211 by 39, which again fits in with the idea that we're in this super view. And it does make sense that this is 211.39 because we're using the super view's coordinate system here in order to see this gray area. So we're also able to see that our center is 234 by 54, which makes sense based on the size. It's half of this and half of this when we add it to the origin point. So now we are able to display the information for our view object in terms of points. And it's actually a great time to talk about points. We want to remember that points are not pixels. These are different things. Right now, Retina, in fact, has two pixels for every point. So if we think about our entire system here, we actually have four times the number of pixels as points when we're talking about a retina display screen, right? X and Y, two times two. We're also able to take a look at all of the information for our view objects, specifically how we're displaying it on the screen in code here. And this is something really important to get used to, the fact that we can access these different properties and structs and we actually are able to see that if I'm taking a look at my quick help here, it actually tells me what these things are. So I see that my bounds is actually at property and its name is bounds. And bounds is a struct which happens to have two structs inside of it. It has a size and an origin struct. And both of those structs happen to have two variable names, specifically size has height and width and origin has x and y, and with that we're able to display where my object is on the screen. We also have another attribute here, center, which is a CG point. We've seen CG points before, and it has an x and a y, which tells us specifically what the center of our view object is. So becoming familiar with these attributes will allow you to figure out in code where in fact your view object is on the screen.